on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Hang on, John. Uh, I'll get help. Just hang on. <coughs> go on, hurry. <coughs> I think the water's rising. <coughs> I'm hurrying. I'll be right back. But the poor kid never did find any help. And his brother drowned in a park full of rainwater. Oh, yeah. Baby sweet cakes. Who got it? That's what I call kicking butt. You go, girl. That fucking bitch nearly killed me. Everything you ask. I think my debt to you is paying. Don't fuck around, man. No. Now wait. I, I can still help you out. No. Don't, don't kill me. Ethan, are you all right? I couldn't do it. I was supposed to kill him to save Sean. And I couldn't do it. You're not the origami killer, Ethan. You're not responsible for those murders. I can prove it. That changes nothing. Saving Sean is all that matters now.
should have guessed. All this time and I had no idea. Ethan, what's the matter? I thought I meant something to you. Listen, I... You're a pretty good nurse for a fucking journalist! <gasps> Ethan, I, I, I wanted to tell you, but... What kind of article were you gonna write? My life with a serial killer? No, no, no. How I caught the origami killer. Maybe you'll get a book deal. I hope it was fucking worth it! Ethan, it's not what you think. I... You lied to me, Madison! All this time you fucking lied to me! I thought you wanted to help me, but you're only thinking of writing a fucking book?! It's true. I'm a journalist. And I knew that you were the father of the boy who had disappeared, and... And I wanted to cover the story. But then I saw what you were going through to save your son. And... And I understood how much you love him. I wanted to tell you the truth, but I couldn't. I was afraid that you... That you... May not believe me. I was afraid that you'd ask me to go. All I want... Is for you to find your son alive. And when it's all over, I want to be with you. I'm sorry, Ethan. I'm so sorry. You're leaving, aren't you? It's the last origami figure. The last letters, then I'll know where Sean is. Take care, Ethan. I can't lose you now. I'm gonna go find something to eat. Wait for me, I'll, I'll be back in 10 minutes. Cops. They're looking for Ethan. It looks like a raid. Come on, what was the damn number? Motel, you've got to get out of here.
I got him. Game over. I'm not here to judge you, Ethan. I'm trying to save the life of your son. We still have time, but it's running out. Help me, Ethan. Tell me what you know. I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't believe you're guilty. I know that sounds strange, but I have my reasons. But you are gonna have to help me to prove your innocence because the odds are stacked against you. Look at these, Ethan. Look at these. Eight photographs. Eight lives taken. Drowned in the goddamn rain. Recognize this one, huh? That's your son, Ethan. That's Sean. He is still alive. Talk to me, Ethan. Say something. Last, Ethan. What will you gain with one more victim? Huh? I kidnapped my son. But I can't remember what happened. I don't know where he is. But the only way to find him to let me out of here. I'm the only person who can save him. You say you can save him, but you don't know where he is. It doesn't make sense, Ethan. I love my son. I love my son. If you keep me here, Sean is going to die. Time's running out, Ethan. And frankly, I don't care why you did it. The only thing I want to know is where you've hidden Sean. I don't know. I would already have saved him if I knew where he was. Okay. This is your last chance, Ethan. And this time, I suggest you think carefully before you answer. Where is Sean? I told you, I don't know. Ah! Wrong answer. I asked you a question, and now you're gonna answer me, even if it takes all night. Even if he is a killer, that doesn't give you the right to beat him. Whose side are you on, Norman? Are you defending this piece of shit? I'm defending the law, and the law says he is innocent until proven guilty. This guy's got no rights, do you hear me? No rights at all! It's Blake, what are you doing? This guy's a killer! He's got no fucking rights! He's gonna tell me everything! You're gonna tell me what I want to know, or I'm gonna fucking cripple you! Come on, asshole! I've been waiting for this for a long time. Come on, come on then, pussy! Let's see what you got. You wanna play games, asshole? Come on, let's play a little game. You're out of your mind, Blake. This is gonna cost you your badge! You better get the hell out of here, Norman, before I give in to the temptation of painting the walls with your fucking brains!
just trying to beat a confession out of Ethan Lawrence. You've got to do something! Which is more important, Norman? Finding little Sean Mars or sparing that lowlife a few bruises? You can't make omelets without breaking a few eggs. God damn! Ethan Mars is innocent! We've got to get back to looking for Sean if we're to have any chance of finding him alive! This case has worn you out, Norman. You need some time off to think it through. Did Mars confess? No, not yet. He lost consciousness. We'll give him a break and then we'll get back to him. He must be tougher than I thought. Tough or not, he'll crack. They all do. In any case, congratulations, Lieutenant. You've done a fine job. I've called a press conference. Gonna kick off in one hour. I expect it'll be quite an event. Don't you want to wait until we actually got his confession? No point. We've got him dead to rights. That's all oppressed. Has he confessed? <laughs> Not yet. I see. Leave us alone. I... Uh... Lieutenant Blake said to... Please. Leave us alone. Right, uh, I'll be at the door if you need anything. Christ! Are you all right, Ethan? Save my son. Let's see what I can do. Gary, you can take a break. I'll keep an eye on him. You sure? Actually, I was busting for a piss. If you need to adjust his handcuffs, the keys are on my desk.
That's it. You're free. Here, put this on. They're having a break. If you're quick, you'll be able to slip out without being noticed. Head straight to the exit. Don't stop, don't talk, don't even think. Just walk. I don't know what to say. I... Just say you're gonna save your son. Lord? I'm sorry, Scott. You should have listened to me, Mr. Shelby. I told you to drop the investigation. Your son is a serial killer. How many people does he have to kill before you turn him in? Gordy has his faults, but he's still my son. You have no children, Mr. Shelby. You can't possibly understand. You leave me no choice. Your investigation is over. For good. I was going to take up swimming again. This isn't exactly what I had in mind. You got a car back at your place? Mine's obviously pretty fucked up. Yeah, sure. What are you going to do? I'm going to go settle a few scores. Come on, I'll take you home. Lock your doors and windows and don't let anybody in but me. Okay? Be careful, Scott. I don't want to lose you.
Stay back! Don't come near me, or I'll shoot! <clears throat> Fucking asshole. Please, don't hurt... son killed all those kids, didn't he? He's the origami killer. No! No! He's innocent! He's not a killer! Not a killer! <sighs> You're a fucking liar. Now tell me the truth. No! No, please! Don't hurt me! Last chance. I don't know. I swear. I don't know anything. Stop. Stop. I beg you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. Gordy. Gordy always wanted his fun, you know. He wanted to... to be like the origami killer. He kidnapped that kid. He held him under the water for a little too long. It was an accident. An unfortunate accident. He just wanted to play. He told me everything. He was crying. He was so sorry for what had happened. Whatever he did, Gordy... Gordy is my son. No one will miss him. What? That boy, Gordy killed. No one will miss him. The street trash, like so many others. Oh, you disgusting pile of shit. And what about John Shepard? Why did you put flowers on his I, grave? I own the construction site where he died. I never forgot. I've been putting flowers on his grave for 30 years. John had a twin brother. What happened to him? I don't know. He was adopted, I think. His mother. His mother should know. Her name is Anne. Anne Shepard. My heart! I need my pills. In that draw. There. Hello, I'm looking for Anne Shepard's room. Please sign the visitor's book. Are you a member of the family? Yeah, you could say that. Oh, she'll be pleased to have a visitor. No one ever comes to see her. With the Alzheimer's, she has trouble remembering things, but it'll still please her, you know. It's room 19 at the end of the corridor. Thank you.
Hello, Mrs. Shepard. Is it time for my pills already? No, Mrs. Shepard, I... They're never on time with my pills. I don't know what they do here. In the other hospital, they were always on time. But here... My name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I'd like to ask you some questions about your son. I don't like this hospital. The food isn't very good, you know. Do you remember John? My Johnny. He is a good little boy, you know. I know what happened at Carnaby Square. Do you remember? Carnaby Square. I think I used to live there a long time ago. We didn't have much money at the time, you know. We had to make do with very little. You had a son named John, and John had a twin brother. Do you have my pills? It's time for my pills. Try to remember, Mrs. Shepard. John's twin brother was placed with a foster family after the accident. What was the name of the foster family? I asked them for a television, you know. They said I didn't have enough money. It's a pity. I'm fond of television. Your other son, Mrs. Shepard, John's twin brother. What was his name? What other son? I have no other son. I never had any children. I think your son is in trouble, Mrs. Shepard. He's done some terrible things. I need to find him. Do you understand? Terrible things you're telling me. He never came to see me, can you believe it? In 10 years, never. No one forgets their mother, do they? Mrs. Shepard, your son may be linked to a series of murders. Perhaps you have some information that could help the investigation. Are you a new nurse? Where are my pills? Did you make these origami figures? My little paper animals. They played with them for hours. I showed my boys how to make them, you know. Yes, your boys, Mrs. Shepard. John and... What was your other son's name again? My other son? I only had one son. My little Johnny. Oh, you know how to do these little dogs, too. My children loved origami. I taught them how to do it. John loved the little dogs. He always wanted to call them Max. Max, Max, Max. All dogs with the same name. I was wasting my time telling him they couldn't all have the same name. But he always wanted his paper dogs Max. It's funny, isn't it?
Are these your children, Mrs. Shepard? John and his brother? Is that them? They're good little boys. Their father never looked after them, always drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. You don't seem to get many flowers, Mrs. Shepherd. No, but I love them. My son knows that I love flowers. I know he'll bring me some. Does Mrs. Shepard ever talk about her past? It's not all very clear to her now. Sometimes she'll remember the oddest things, though. I suppose if she sees something that reminds her of her past. Does she get many visitors? She's been here for ten years, and you're the first. I'm looking for her other son. He was adopted. I mean, he, he's probably changed his name. Is there any official documentation on Mrs. Shepard? No, there's nothing really. Nothing about her family. I guess if her son was adopted, then she's the only one who could tell you about that. Sometimes, if you show her things, it seems to trigger a memory from her past. You might get it to remember. Thanks for the advice. What a lovely orchid. My sons loved orchids. We used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave. I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children, and now they were taking away another one, you understand? foster family, Mrs. Shepard. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? They were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. He must have thought I didn't love him anymore. his name, Mrs. Shepard. What was his name? But I loved him. If you only knew how much I missed him. Please, Anne. His name. What was his name? 